In this lecture, we will address the last topic of this chapter, which is impact analysis for maintenance. Here, we will see the second learning objective. Describe the role of impact analysis in maintenance testing. It is marked as K2. Let's first see, why do we do impact analysis in maintenance testing? Impact analysis may be done before a change is made. To help decide if the change should be made, based on the potential consequences in other areas of the system. What you need to understand here is we do impact analysis before we change code to see what are the consequences of it on the system. Next question is why we do impact analysis. Impact analysis evaluates to identify the intended consequences as well as expected and possible side effects of a change. Second point is the areas in the system that will be affected by the change. And the third point is impact of a change on existing tests. Remember these three points. Expected and possible side effects of a change. Impact on the system. Impact on existing tests. Though impact analysis is very useful for the success of the maintenance activity, it's difficult to perform impact analysis if specifications are outdated, you know that specifications are the main input to know the requirements, if specification itself is not available, or if it's not updated, then it is very difficult to know what is implemented and what will be the impact of change on the system. Similar to this is the second point. Test cases are not documented or out of date, since impact analysis identifies the impact on existing tests. But if the test itself is not updated, how one can analyze it? The third point is bidirectional traceability between tests and the test bases has not been maintained. Let's understand this. If each of the requirements has a link to test case, then if requirements are changed, then we know that linked test cases need updating and shall be executed. But if there is no link between requirement and test case, then we cannot evaluate how many test cases shall be changed. The fourth point is very simple. Tool support is weak or non-existent. The people involved do not have a domain and or a system knowledge. Suppose if you have maintained the system after 10 years, then there is no tool and you need to put manual effort. That time, it will be very difficult for anyone to complete the task, especially if they don't have domain knowledge. The last point is insufficient attention has been paid to the software's maintainability during development. For example, while writing the code comments were not added. In that case, after a long time, it will be difficult to understand the functionality of the code. With this, the chapter ends. Thank you.